All right, so before we get started on the super crafty stuff, the the stamp haul that I have to show to you guys today, I wanted to show you something else really quick that I just got in. This is my new tripod arm, so that way I can shoot straight down on my desk instead of having it at weird angles. Um, please excuse this jerry-rigged thing of shelves I got going on. The tripod I usually use is not strong enough to hold this metal bar because this is a very hefty metal bar, which I'm not going to complain if it holds my camera the way I need it to so I can film videos for you guys. Um, and I will, I bought this at bnhphoto.com and I'll put a link below to where you can find it. That way if you're interested you can check it out. And uh, yeah, let's get started on the actual stamp portion. Alright, so this haul, um, I just got in the rest of it today. Um, I did some shopping on Amazon um, because I found that Amazon is a little bit cheaper than some of the places like Simon Says Stamp. And because I am an Amazon Prime member, thanks to being a student, I get two-day shipping for free. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm still waiting on a couple of things, but I am so excited to actually use these stamps that I couldn't wait to do the haul video for you. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanted to share with you guys, and I'm sorry about the weird shadowing, I'm still working on the lighting thing with this new tripod, so yeah. The first thing I want to show you is this Inky Dinka Doo stamping mask paper. I believe that uh, I found this via Jennifer McGuire, and I'll link her below. Um, and I can't wait to actually try this stamping mask paper to see about making some really cool one layer cards. All right, so the next thing I got came from came from Marker Pop, I believe. I, yeah, I believe it came from Marker Pop. Um, again, I ordered off of Amazon, so I'm not 100% sure. But I will. I have all the receipts and stuff that I got, so I will link where I got everything below. That way, if you're interested, excuse me. Um, that way, you can check it out yourself. All right. So the first thing we have. Um, this is from the new um, Lawn Fawn release. At least I, I believe it's the brand new release. I'll have to double check. Um, they taped. They taped the little ones together, so that we wouldn't lose anything. Um, so I have the pumpkin spice, or correction, this one is, yeah, pumpkin spice, little stamp. I'm still waiting on the dye that matches this. It's the only problem with ordering from Amazon is you do not always get your, your stuff from the same place. Um, but I can live with that because it should be here within a week or so, so I, 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 I'm okay with that. I mostly got this because I've got a specific friend in mind that I want to send a little uh, card to because they like pumpkin spice anything. It, it's a great running joke between them and myself, so I can't wait to do this and send them a card. The next thing I got, I'm not sure exactly when this came out. I think it's been out for a little while. Does this say? This, yeah, this is from 2000. So the stamp is from 2016. The die is from 2017. And actually, apparently, this is from 2016 as well, so this is not as new as I thought it was, but that's okay. Um, so, like I said, this is from 2016, this is from this year, and it is the Winter Otter stamp set with the coordinating dies. I cannot wait. I've got my husband and um, the lead singer fiance of the band that my husband is in they have this weird obsession with otters so i can't wait to make them a couple of otter related cards i think i have another stamp set that's otters coming and i cannot wait to get it the last thing i got from marker pop was here we go a waddling i believe that this actually is from the new release so I have Here We Come Waddling and the matching dies. So I realized um, after making my first card um, using the um, Booyah stamp set that I would probably, I, I can understand why people would pay for the dies. Because as easy as the Booyah stamp set is to cut out, it was still kind of a pain in the butt. So I decided to go ahead and from now on I'm trying to get all of the matching dies with my stamp sets. So I got this one because I am just obsessed with penguins. They are my favorite animal and I just thought this one was too cute. So you've got two, you've got three separate penguins, four separate penguins, excuse me. 
Um, these two are just kind of doing their own thing. This one looks like it's reading out of a book. It's got a little hat. These three look like they're caroling. And then this one is playing a guitar. And then I just like all the little cute sayings and the lamppost and I love the little music note. So I cannot wait to make a Christmas card with this that'll be in uh, my holiday card series coming up this year, my first holiday card series. The next one I just, I also ordered it from Amazon. Um, I'm gonna tear it out of its wrapper real quick. Um, it's talking about how much I love Amazon and their two day shipping. I ordered this Thursday? It must have been Thursday, yeah. Um, ordered it real quick on Amazon. It's been in my, sorry for the noise guys. It has been in my, on my wish list for a while because I just think it's absolutely adorable. And I finally decided what the heck gave in and I bought it. I just love all of these little star constellations that are right here. And I like how there's a little face that you can put on the star. So I love the foxes, they're adorable. And I like the fact that of the two animals that there are, they each have a smaller version, so that way if you want to put one closer or farther, you just want to use the smaller ones you can. So again, I got the coordinating dies. Um, this one I got a couple of days ago. I don't remember exactly where it's from. Uh, again, it was from Amazon. So I got the Dunna stamp set. These are both from earlier this year. I know these are not; these ones are not new. But uh, I've got a friend who's absolutely obsessed with sharks, and I saw this. I thought of her. Had to get it so I can make her some shark, some shark stamp set or correction. Good lord, some shark cards. Good lord, I can't talk. So speaking of booya, finally got my dies. Um, I actually I ordered this before I got the Amazon Prime with my student stuff, and so this one took like two or three weeks to get here and it kind of made me mad, which is why I went with Amazon Prime. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited I finally have the coordinating dies with Booyah because I absolutely love the Booyah stamp set. It was the first stamp set I ever bought and anyone who knows me loves I lo knows I love Halloween. God, I'm talking too fast. Um, so I can't wait to actually be able to properly die cut these out instead of having a fussy cut. Another thing I bought, um, the tape has come loose, but I got the scallop circle stackables because I just love the little scallop circles. So I can't wait to use these on a card. I actually have a card in mind already that I want to use these with. So the very last thing that I have to show you guys today, it's uh, it was a small haul, um, was this little set that I got from Newton's Nook. I just love that little card it's so cute thank you for your order get your paws inky and enjoy your new goodies that's cute again friend who's obsessed with with shark stamps or sharks in general i found this at newton's nook and again just had to get it and of course i had to get the matching dies so i can make her cards well specifically i got them for my friend um but also i'm gonna make some cards for my sh my new shop so i can because I want to be able to make cards for both genders, not just girl cards, not just boy cards. Um, I know quite a few people like sharks and stuff, and I could do some cool underwater stuff too. So this is going to be fun. Alright you guys, I will put a link to all of the stuff below. I'll put um, a link from Lawn Fawn itself as well as uh, where I can find it, where you can find it on Amazon. That way if you want to get it on Amazon, if you can, um, because it's a little bit cheaper. And not that I don't appreciate all the work that Lawn Fawn uh, does that goes into all of the stuff that they create, and I understand why things are the price that they are, but some of us do crafting on a budget, um, and so having stuff that you can find cheaper somewhere is always good. So. This way, I can buy more Lawn Fawn stuff because it's cheaper. All right, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.